Probably the biggest difference between doing ALA and a uh, traditional comic book convention is that we don't have to do the hard sell. Um, usually at a comic convention I feel sometimes like a used car salesman and I have to sort of do like a song and a dance and really have like a really sticky uh, tagline and all that kind of thing. At ALA, most of the people here really love books and they probably pay attention to what's going on in the publishing world, so they may already be familiar with your stuff. I have not once seen anybody walk up to my table with a child and have the child be interested in my work and the dad go, no, 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 there's Captain America stuff over here. Uh, that's a big difference from your traditional comic shows. Now, I mean, at an SPX or a MOCA or a TCAF, you're not seeing that anyway, right? Uh, but I think that this show is very similar to the, the shows I just mentioned because there's a uh, high degree of uh, people coming to discover something. You know, people are here to, what's new? What's interesting? What haven't I seen yet? Uh, they're, they're hungry for novelty. They're not hungry for more of the franchise characters. Nothing wrong with franchise characters. But when you're an indie guy uh, at, at a show like that, it gets a little bit tougher when, you know, uh, you, your audience begins to find you and then the parents pull them away because the parents, I'm a Captain America man, my son's going to be a Captain America man. That happens a lot. It's interesting. Um, I'm used to Comic Cons and I really like them. Um, I go and I know what I'm supposed to do and then I came here and I wasn't really sure what to expect and I really enjoy it. Everybody here is super nice and it's definitely the first thing that comes to mind when I think about the differences. We just. It's not saying that comic people are bad or anything, it's just everybody here is so sweet and they're so excited and they're so happy and and it's there there's room in the aisles to walk around and it's not frightening. Yeah, right. I can actually move without hitting someone. And it's just been it's been a really nice vibe. Like the vibe here is really, really good. I like it. It's actually a lot more relaxed, but uh, the people here are seem to be a lot more enthusiastic, especially about graphic novels, because it's all so new to them. What's really great is that when they come by the table in Artist Alley, to anybody that's there, is that they're really sort of, a lot of them are really learning for the first time, like what graphic novels are, how they can place them into kids' hands, and um, sort of becoming visually literate themselves. Um, and uh, so that's really exciting. Whereas when you go to a comic book convention, usually it's people who already know sort of what they like and what their tastes are. What's exciting about um, meeting librarians here is that they're just sort of, they're, they're, it's their budding tastes, you know, and um, that's pretty cool. And then there are also amazing librarians who know everything about graphic novels and they're just hungry for them. And so the fact that graphic novels are becoming a larger part of their, you know, collections uh, is really exciting. Nobody yet has come up to me, ask me where, uh, like, the Lost panel is. And uh, it's been great. It's been great. Everyone's really friendly. People are interested in in the, the comics that I do. Um, when I sign something for somebody, they're super grateful and super happy that I did it. It's been great. It's been a wonderful experience. I always felt like the comics community was really, really welcoming and really wonderful. But comics is so diverse, and comics has so many different types of material out there and it always sort of felt like what I was doing it was kind of hard to figure out who my readers were because I make books for kids and for teenagers and there's not a whole lot of kids and teenagers that go to comic book conventions it's usually kids who are either there with their parents or it's comic book fans and I, I love comic book fans do not get me wrong but most of the time comic book fans know what they like and if they see something new they're not that interested in it whereas a convention like ALA is just it doesn't really compare to any of those things. It's librarians, and librarians are always looking for things to get their readers engaged. So books for young readers in particular, they gravitate towards because I think librarians deal with a lot of kids who might not rather be there. <laughs> oh man, this show is so much better than a comic book show because um, because you know, in comic book shows, you constantly gotta sell your books here Everybody here already knows your books and likes your books and likes books in general, and not just the, and it's not like from no one's here for movies, 
or film or like, or, uh, or TV or or like toys they're here for books and that's kind of amazing also uh, they they smell a lot better oh it's wonderful people actually have read comic books um, there it's clean it doesn't smell funny let's keep this a secret between uh, you and I like so this place doesn't get uh, overrun by all these cartoonists, you know, it's just, it's our, yeah, it's our little secret. <laughs> ALA, first of all, you can walk from one end of the show to the other in under an hour. Um, it's a very different vibe, like on the surface of it, it's like, it's a convention center, you know, it's booths and there's like, but the thing with librarians, it's kind of a, it's, on the surface of it, it might seem a little less rowdy, definitely less costumes. Um, but librarians are really passionate people, you know? Like most of them are not really in it for the money. Most of them are in it because they love, they love books, they believe in reading. And uh, so they're really cool people to, to hang out with and to talk to. When I was in grad school, I sort of started to see that, um, that comics were being accepted in libraries, but I wasn't necessarily seeing uh, the, a great understanding. I felt like comics uh, co and comic collections were just sort of a box that libraries felt like they had to check off and they would say, well, now I've got my reluctant readers covered and um, I'm going to go read J.K. Rowling or whatever. And um, my interest is really in getting librarians to recognize comics as works of art, recognize comics as um, an art form, not a genre, um, that can tell stories that are just as interesting and just as complex and um, just as fun as any other kind of storytelling medium. I thought that comics should also be in libraries, especially when I was seeing that the, um, the boys, we were losing them at about age 10. And they weren't coming back because we didn't have what they really wanted. And when I started bringing some comics into the library, all of a sudden the boys were coming in. They were all excited. I mean, the library is going to carry comics. How cool, you know? <laughs> and uh, and I just thought, well, this is natural, and we should do this. We hear a lot about public libraries and how teens want them, but I think we can't ignore that they're a real, real, real force um, in academia, and that academic libraries are there too. It used to be that the comic book industry and the book industry were two separate things. Uh, but ever since they started to merge and I've, I've been interacting with the, the librarian world more and more, I realized, first of all, um, librarians drive quite a bit of what happens in the book market. And second is that they're amazingly supportive of comics. You know, in the, in the 1940s, um, it, was exactly the exact, it was the exact opposite. Uh, librarians were like kind of the enemy of comics. They thought comics were um, the enemy of true reading. The one time, I think, where was I? In Nassau County, I think it was. And I spoke to some librarians, and it wasn't teen or children's librarians, it was adult librarians. And they tend to be a little bit behind the curve sometimes of where it comes to comics. And there was one, um, there was one that was sitting in the front row, is this, this older woman who was there, and she was kind of scowling at me like while I was doing the talk. And I kept looking over at her, and I was wondering if I had offended her or something, but she was just sitting there like this. Like, and, and I knew, like, you know, when this one opens her mouth, it's going to get interesting. <laughs> but she didn't say a thing. And then at the end, you know, I'd taken some questions. We'd gone a little over time. We had to end. And then suddenly she bolts up and she goes, this is the dumbing down of America. And there's no reason that these books, no, she said, there's no reason that comics should have any other importance than to bring readers to real books, which these are not. And then I said, uh... Okay, um, thanks everybody for coming. <laughs> Have a great evening. <laughs> and it, it was, but it was kind of fun because what happened is like everybody else kind of crowded around and rallied around, and they said like, "Oh, don't worry about her. You know, we know her. <laughs> it's like, That's how she is. You know." But it's like that attitude. I think would have been maybe not so virulent, but it would have been around. You know, much more so. Maybe a decade or two ago, you know, and it's like it's it's changed so radically. I mean, it, oftentimes, like I said, it's like the parents aren't really with it, but the librarians are, and so the librarians are helping. They don't need to help the kids because the kids know what to read, but the, the, the parents, you know, need to be told like, hey, some of these are award winners, some of these are, you know, challenging reads. They're like, some of these are deep. The 
it's just a couple of people yeah, that, that, yeah. that didn't all think that uh, um, that comics should be in the libraries. I thought that was kind of interesting. Why that, they said that? Yeah, this one lady was just like, well, we don't have any uh, comics because we're a real library. What? And then, I, and this didn't happen to me, but I saw it happen to the kid Beowulf guy who was across the hall uh, or across the aisle. And so the lady just came up and said, kid Beowulf. And walked off, which was amazing because I hate Kid Beowulf too. He's right there! He's right there! You told me it was oh my god. <laughs> the librarian needs to go up to Tien and go shh.